Hi everyone, Steve Janowski here with the RV Factory in Elkhart, Indiana. I'm coming to you today from our showroom, uh, right? That's adjacent, right next to our production facility. Um, today I'm excited because for the first time we're able to get in depth on our brand new entry into the toy hauler market, our fifth wheel toy hauler market, uh, with our 4620W, uh, more affectionately known as the Gradzilla. And you'll see uh, in just a little bit why we call it the Gradzilla. It's uh, got tremendous capabilities. We're very excited about this product. And like I said, uh, it's, it's been on our website for quite a while now. And for us, uh, like I said, it's the first time we were able to get it uh, and have it done and be able to come to you guys and, and show you exactly what you guys have been uh, asking about for, for a while now. So uh, here it is, the 4620, the Gradzilla. So this overall length of this coach is 46 foot long. It's a very big unit, but it gives you a lot of capacity and a lot of options to haul things. But as always, we start with um, any of our weekend wear product. And one of our iconic brands we built here in Elkhart Energy Factory Direct is with our construction model. Um, we have a one piece fiberglass, pre molded fiberglass cap that we use on the front that's a wraparound construction. Gives you a great look. It's built for a longevity to last a long time. It's not plastic. Uh, so we have a great look on the front of this. And then if you talk about anything with Weekend where you talk about our construction philosophies. First and foremost, we have a vacuum bond laminated sidewall. And then we couple that with an all steel vacuum bond laminated floor. So it's a great structure to start with. Not very many people do that vacuum bond laminated floor. In fact, we're probably the only ones that do do it. And then also we have a five inch roof on this. So we have a lot of great structural features right from the beginning. We want to make sure that you understand our construction philosophies and going into if you're going to keep this a long time, that's what we build it for. Somebody who's going to, who wants to keep this for a long time, uh, have some versatility when you're, when you're using your uh, fifth wheel or your toy haulers, because we know not everybody uses them the same way. And that's what's great about us being factory direct. You can modern, customize and, and get it exactly how you need it to perform for you. But construction philosophies, and this is the ability that we have. Um, you're talking about a unit right now. This is a 24,000 pound GVWR. Uh, the hitch, the frame, and the axles are all rated for 24,000 pounds. So you talk about carrying capacity, this has it. And you're gonna have plenty of room to do that. And we'll go inside and look at here a little bit while and why we call it the Gradzilla. But underneath, uh, we have a, a nice area for, a uh, nice lit area for you guys to look at. And all along the outside, you're gonna see LED lighting. Um, to make sure you're illuminated out here, that you have plenty of visibility, plenty of light. But that's a 7,000 watt uh, Onan generator. The reason we put a 7,000 watt in this one, it's, a, it's an option, but we have a third AC in the garage. So with that, you'd want the, the uh, 7,000 watt uh, Onan generator. We have a couple different options around that. Uh, once again, a Moorite hitch pin, and that's a 24,000 pound GVWR. <clears throat> but as we work our way back this way, this unit uh, right here, we got the dual slam latch technology that's make sure that when this thing closes, it stays locked with a butyl seal. So we make sure that the stuff that's in here can stay in here. Uh, it's uh, protected just like you'd want the things on the inside to be protected. So nice cargo area right here. We also have obviously our propane tanks. We have dual propane on this unit, 220 pound LP tanks on this. Uh, so we have a nice cargo area, easy to get to. Your LCI, this, these are your stabilizing system is right in here. It's a six point stabilizing system. A unit this big, you obviously don't want anything less and that way you're making sure that wherever you go, the camper is gonna be level, nice and flat. Very easy access to get to, very easy to use. Uh, we also have back here in our cargo area, a nice pass through, or excuse me, a nice uh, area to get to whatever you may need on the other side. This one has a central vac in it, your water system, a lot of your lines back there. So nice and easy to use and get to. So, like I said, dual slam latch technology. Um, little things for us, too, like the size uh, right here. This is a sheet metal. We use a little thicker gauge than most of our competitors. And why? Because we understand that you may be out in uh, some terrain that's not very friendly or, uh, like I said, just longevity, the length of time you may want to keep this coach. Um, we take those extra little steps just to make sure that uh, your coach is going to be look this good five years from now, ten years from now, as it does today, you pick it up from, from the factory here. We do other things like the 3M graphics. It's a very heavy duty graphic. We want to make sure that uh, it's not going to fade in, in weather and sun, things like that. So it's a very good look, very clean look, uh, but also a graphic that, that wears well throughout the years. 
If you look just along the side of this, we have the frameless windows. Uh, it's a great look. They're functional as well. Um, gives, it, uh, gives us a nice peace of mind going down the road that uh, it's going to keep the inclement weather out, the rain, everything like that. They're great for that. But on top of that, like I said, you'll, it's a great look to the coach. Um, you'll notice all the LED lighting. We have two huge awnings out here uh, for great camping. Uh, make sure you can put all your, uh, if you're uh, out, um, got some toys you want to make sure that you don't want to put back in the garage, you can put them under the awning back here. This is a great little camping area on the outside of the coach for when you get to wherever you're going to make sure that uh, you've got some nice family time, some nice room outside. Um, so great awning space. We have the outside uh, marine grade uh, audio system outside too. So you've got some uh, speakers out here that uh, will play your music and it works with the radio on the insides, which is great. So you've got some entertainment out here as well. But just take a look at the door. That's an extra wide door. Uh, we understand that while you're out and you're riding or uh, whatever you may be doing with something like this, uh, we're not gonna give you the little narrow ways to get in. This is the extra wide doors. We make sure to put those on there for access in and out, not only in the living quarters here, but also in the garage area back here. As we move back here to the suspension, these are three 8,000 pound axles with the equal flex suspension on it to make sure all those tires stay on the road as you're carrying your load down the road. This is uh, very important, uh, making sure that uh, it's stable and it's ready to uh, take on anything that you may be out. Uh, like I said, if you go off road, we keep all the tires on the road for a nice stable ride, keep everything on the inside where it's supposed to be. But as we walk back, we have two uh, entry points into the coach, obviously the one in the garage and the one into the, the cabin area where the living quarters are. These are the four-step uh, aluminum stairs uh, for nice, easy uh, entrance and exit out of the coach. So you're not stepping all the way up. Um, coming back this way, like I said, some good graphics. The Gradzilla is prominent right there. Uh, gives you a good idea of what the graph looks like on the back as well. Uh, we've gone ahead and I've put the gate down, but this is a 3,000 pound ramp door uh, that we've put on the back here. So it will be able to take whatever you're gonna put in the back there. It's a very heavy duty door. Uh, we've also on this one got some options as far as uh, the rear veranda and the rear awning package. Another great area uh, once you get to your campsite just to hang out on. You can put your grill back here. You can uh, just put some chairs back here for lounging activities, things like that. We can walk around this way uh, a little bit more and show you some more features on the, uh, on the 4620 here, the Gradzilla. We talk about just construction philosophies. We go down to the ladder. This is a one-piece ladder that we have welded. It's not the ones we screw together. Uh, it's a very heavy-duty ladder, and you can get up on the roof, and you can walk on this roof, which is very nice if you've got anything you need to get there to, to do. Uh, taking a look a little bit further, this obviously we understand you may be out um, and about at the, you know, the racetrack or wherever, and while you're out, you may need to fill up some of your toys. Well, we have the option to do just that with, with the Gradzilla. Um, it has two tanks on it. It's got one obviously to power the generator up front and it's also got another uh, one in back here to, to help fill up all of your toys. It's an 18 gallon in the front, a 40 gallon in the back, so a total of 58 gallons worth of available fuel to you. And if you do have to transfer it over and have some of this fuel run the generator, you certainly can do that as well. So uh, make it very easy and accommodating once you're out and about. Obviously your power source right here, your 50 amp cord, uh, plugs in nice and easy. It's right there ready and available for you. Uh, come along this way, once again, a great look, great features, lots of windows. We put a lot of windows back in the, uh, in the um, garage area to make sure that there's good ambient light in there because you'll see you're going to need it. There's, a, there's quite a bit of space back there. Once again, we're walking around this side. Good access points to, uh, first and foremost, this will be all of your, your water system right here. Very easy to use water system as well as your furnace, your hot water heater, things like that. Then your other side over here is your other LP tank. So easy for your waste discharge. We made that easy to get to, so it's not underneath the slide where you have to maneuver and negotiate around there. It's very easy to get to even if your slide is out. So always trying to think of easy ways and accesses to uh, accommodate people on their camping trips. Um, that's a little bit of the outside of the 4620. I know we're all looking to get on the inside, so let's go take a peek on the inside and see what that looks like. Hi, we're about ready to take you inside. Um, normally we would start in the, in the cabin or where the living area is. But with this, uh, I think it makes some sense to start in the garage area. So come on in and uh, let me show you around a little bit. As you look around the Garagezilla, uh, as we've touted um, in all of our marketing and, and as we uh, take it to shows, this is the only 20-foot garage in the industry right now. So this is a 20-foot garage area that has a ton of options. Uh, once again, a beaver tail on the back here to help you get all of your, um, whatever you may need to, to drive or to pull in. 
for an easy access in the back. We make sure that all the tie downs get tied to a, uh, a, a, the frame, so not just in the floor, so they really are functional. As well as the, the gate back here, or the, the box, the toolbox we call it. You lift that up, that's a whole area right here. Um, that's great for storing tools, clothes, cabinets, maybe things out of the way. Um, that's not cluttering up your space back here. And then once again, you have your nice veranda back here for entertaining and just all types of, uh, um, all types of uses back here. Gives you great little living space back here. And I'm underneath right now. LED lights lighting me up right now with a rear awning in back. Looks great. Uh, right now, I've got all, my, all of our windows covered up um, with, our, uh, with the covers that we chose. But uh, if you want to, you could take all those off, get some great light in here. We're inside right now, so it wouldn't make much of a difference. But certainly, that's something you can do, as well as uh, some nice big windows with some nice uh, window treatments on it, if you need those as well. Uh, something else that's uh, unique in this one right here is I'm under, I was just under our first Happy Jack system, which is the couch and bed combination, if you're not familiar with those. Well, this unit has two. So tons of available space for sleeping, for people to come in, to, for visitors. Um, understand when you're out on the road with this, uh, you may have some people that want to come with, or um, it's got plenty of room for just that. Like I said, with 20 available, 20 feet in, in the garage space here, uh, tons of room to, to uh, bring all of your uh, toys. And, and now with the, the sleeping ranges back here, you can bring a lot of people too. Like I said, this unit has the optional uh, AC in the garage area, so it's um, a great, we can keep people cool back here uh, and make sure that uh, uh, they're comfortable when they're staying with you. So once again, the Happy Jack system's back here. So one of the things about being factory direct, we have some options back here. Perhaps you don't want the Happy Jack systems, perhaps you don't want one of them. Perhaps you want to make this area a little bit more accommodating, you want to put a half back here, that's certainly an option that we can do for you. Uh, perhaps you want to make uh, some, uh, some cabinet changes, you want to put some cabinets back here where there isn't any, or I need some more space to haul uh, my riding gear, or this or that. One of the great things about being factory direct is we can listen to those ideas and see if we can't help uh, accommodate those. So a lot of options back here. This space is very usable uh, for all types of things, even if you want to make it more livable, uh, a little bit more livable space back here. Certainly something we could uh, help with and, and uh, listen to you. So once again, two Happy Jack systems. I just walked on the other one. You can tell there's a lot of space back here and under that. Um, so that way you can, even if you wanted to pull like a small car in here, certainly accommodate that as well with the amount of GVW we have on this. It's, uh, like I said, 24,000 pound GVWR. The weight came in around 18.2. So you have about 5,700 pounds of available payload you can put back here. Unbelievably, um, as far as the payload capacities are concerned. Um, so up here, we have a nice little sound, sound system that will actually record, controls the, uh, the um, audio speakers on the outside as well. So you have a great uh, space for um, all kinds of things that you want to do up here. Like I said, this area is kind of wide open. So uh, if you had a half bath, it would go back here. We also have up above the door, you have a nice area for TV. Uh, you can watch back there. Maybe put a, a jackknife uh, type of sofa back here for more direct viewing or just have it back here. We've got a lot of options around that way. But we try to make everything accessible, put a lot of lights back here. Once again, the auto system is also on the inside of the coach. We have the Jensen speakers on the inside too. Um, so we've tried to make it very usable, very friendly. So we have a vapor lock door as we go into our living quarters here, a vapor lock door. So that way, if you do have things that have exhaust or um, you don't want the smells in here getting in, in there, it absolutely does that. Keeps those, uh, all the exhaust fumes and everything out here where they're supposed to be. But as we walk into the living area, you'll see a very nice accommodating living space. Um, from everything from a hard surface counter, solid surface countertops, uh, we make sure we don't chintz on any of those things and give it a very nice appealing look, high quality finishes that you'll see in some of the high-end motorhomes. So nice deep vessel sink um, with the, uh, the covers over the top so that way you can use the whole counter space if you need to. Certainly we understand that uh, while you're on the road it's going to be important to, to make sure that everybody that come with you is, is being fed. So. You've got some options over here as far as the stove is concerned. Um, we've got a great, nice big microwave uh, to use. Uh, we can actually have a um, different, couple different options as far as microwaves are concerned. We certainly put a, a full-size refrigerator in here, understanding that you're going to want to take a lot of things with you. Uh, so this is a 19 cubic foot uh, Dometic refrigerator uh, with refrigerator and freezer. So tons of space to put all of your goodies in there, everything you're going to be camping and cooking with great space we also have over above we try to accommodate try to put as much cabinet space in here as possible to make sure that you can get uh, everything in here you're going to need as well as over here we've got nice little spice rack shelves for canned soup goods um, all those types of things 
another little shelf space here for whatever you may need. Uh, we've also got a loft over here. Um, so that space is great for once again, kids that want to sleep or just uh, hauling things. You can put some more storage up there. So you've got a nice little space up there that has um, all kinds of possibilities for whatever you're looking for. We've done a great job over here. We've got nice seating arrangements. So it's a four chairs over here. There's a couple different options that we offer. Uh, in regards to what this space could look like. Uh, maybe you want a little dinette table there. Maybe you want a little, uh, then with a little, uh, some captain's chair, something like that. Part of our factory direct experience and model is we can, we'll help accommodate that. So in an effort to, uh, if, if you, you, you choose this option right here, what we can do is I've gone ahead or we've gone ahead and we've put a, a, a TV system in that actually pulls out and then angles so that way you're not cranking your head around trying to view the TV. Once again, nice little entertainment space over here. Uh, once again, a little bit more storage over here. Another sound system that actually plays uh, the DVDs on the TV as well with a nice fireplace that actually does heat this area quite well. This one has like a central vac in it as well. If you wanted to use a central vac, neither heating duct. We'll talk about a little bit about heating and cooling right now. There's a lot of space to do just that. So good news with the weekend warrior is we can accommodate. We have a true HVAC system running through the roof of this. So the air conditioning units you'll see on top here have a, a great opportunity. We're not just dumping it into one area and hoping that it disperses. We've got a lot of a room um, and, and um, a lot of uh, area for that air to pass through and, and make everybody in your party very, uh, very um, comfortable, very comfortable. So this is the kitchen living space. Certainly nice and accommodating and to help you uh, while you're out like I said, wherever you may be camping to uh, get everybody fed and nice gathering area. But I'll take you up here. Uh, we'll show you the bathroom um, right up this way. We've got a nice bathroom. If you can see, I'm, I've got plenty of space in here. Nice vessel sink. Gives us a great fit and finish. Um, some more storage under here. This is a solid wood door, just like throughout all of our coach. The solid wood doors. Try to put as much storage in here as possible with a nice towel rack. Once again, over here, we've got some more storage. Uh, a full-size uh, one-piece shower um, to make sure that it's very comfortable for you. It's got a little seat in here as well. So lots of space here in the bathroom. A full-size mirror if you walk over here in the bedroom. This unit comes with a, with a queen bed over here. Uh, some great storage on either side of that bed as well. We've actually made some pass or some uh, some knockouts here in the, the wall to make things accommodating easy. If you want to put some books over there, you put your phone, um, all types of things. And then over here on this side, this slide out is a whole, one full wardrobe. So once again, we understand that this may be somebody's full time living unit, or you might be on the road for quite a while while you're out. Well, good news, we've given you plenty of space over here to hang up all your clothes. Here you go. This whole slide is dedicated to a nice big wardrobe plenty of space to um, actually hang up all of your clothes. Some nice big cabinets down here for whatever you may need, for nice drawers, things like that. So you have plenty of space right back here um, to make sure that you're, um, like you said, great space in some of these cabinets. Um, we try to utilize every inch we can, understanding on a consistent basis, our customers are telling us, man, the more space we can get, the better. So. That, my, that right there is, is our 4620, the GarageZilla. Um, we are so excited to bring this to market, get it out to the public. We wanted to make sure we got a video out to really tell you um, the, the fits and the fit and finish this and the, and the, the features and benefits of, of having something this big. If you got any questions on, on this unit, give us a call. Like I said, we got some options in the back there that may just fit what you need. Maybe you don't need 20 foot of garage space, but maybe you need uh, some more living area that we can accommodate and, uh, and take a look at that. So a lot of options on this one. Once again, from the RV factory, uh, give us a call or go to our website, thervfactory.com. You can put a build together and, and it tells you all the features and options that we have. Um, like I said, if you call one of our sales reps, they can walk you through any more granular questions you may have. So please give us a call um, or reach out to us on the website and we'll look forward to answering all your questions. And we'll also look forward to giving you the ultimate buying experience.